Hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mr. Asia Pacific Philippines Pangasinan Zoom Q&A. Ayan, so andito naman po tayo para maipakita ang kanilang uh, sagot sa mga katanungan ng aking itatanong sa kanila. So, uh, first, na-discuss ko na po ang, ating, ang aking mga criteria sa all the candidates at... Uh, Kung anong gusto niyong isagot, you can speak in Tagalog, English, Ilocano, Pangasinense. So, yun. Yun na lang. Pag, if you have interpreter, you can let him or her to speak and interpret your uh, uh, interpret the question. Okay. So, you are going to answer the question in 60 seconds. So, mayroon akong timer. Then, I will stop you... Uh, Answering the questions if you are already exceeded from the time. Okay, so uh, I will be starting to uh, Christian from Bayang Bang Pangasinan. Okay, so all you have to do is to uh, give me or yeah or select a uh, number from one to fifteen. So ko ano yung number. na nasabi mo sa akin, yon ang aking itatanong sa iyo. Again, you have to answer the question in Tagalog, Ilocano, Pangasinense, English. At kung may interpreter ka, siya ang magsasalita dyan sa iyong video. Okay, so, Christian from... Uh, Bayang Bang Pangasinan, what number are you going to pick up? Or tell me, not pick up as di ka magbubunok. Anong number ang gusto mo? I'm going to choose my number in the pageant, which is number two. Okay, number two. This is your question. What step or measure that need to be taken to eradicate poverty in your municipality? I repeat. What step or measure that need to be taken to eradicate poverty in your municipality? Okay. You can answer now. Nasa Sangguni ang Kabataan as a chairperson in my beloved hometown. Uh, I'm. It's an honor to me to serve my community. If I'm going to give a step or measurement to the to my hometown or municipality, I'm going to talk with our beloved may, mayor to to help the poor person because it is very important to help the needy person in order to become progress our community and of course. As uh, officials of our barangay, I'm here to help our mayor to share my time, my talent, and treasure to give um to give uh support to them. And we have our we have our um advocacy, which is um labanan pugsain ang kahirapan dito sa Bayambang. So the step that I want to do is I will talk to our mayor. That's all. Thank you. Ayan, oh, thank you so much, Christian. Okay, I'll go, to, uh, I'll go to Jonathan. Jonathan? Hello, Jonathan. Asan ang iyong camera? Jonathan? Okay. Ayan, relax lang. Keep calm. Okay. So, okay. Um, What number? Anong number ang gusto mo? Gusto mo? What number? What are the choices, sir? I didn't hear. Uh, what, uh, sorry, 1 to 15. So ngayon, ako nakuha na ni Christian yung number 2, so mamimili ka ng ibang number. I guess number 1. Okay. Number one. Okay, your question is, 
if you had a chance to discuss a social issue with the governor of Pangasinan, what social issue would it be? I repeat. If you had a chance to discuss social issue with the governor of Pangasinan, what social issue would it be? Okay. Ready? Ready? You can start now. If I will be giving a chance to discuss one social issue in our, to our government official, specifically our governor, I will be discuss the increasing rate of teenage pregnancy. Because yes, nowadays, um, teenagers um, having a lack of education to, to do something like um, premarital sex without using uh, extra protection like condoms or etc. And it, it, I think it is a high time for us to to give importance to the usage of our extra protection, which is the condoms. And I would like to say that it is important to prevent Thank prevention. You. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll go to Reven. Reven, please. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Ayan. Uh, Christian, pakimute mo ang sound, please. Okay, so, uh, Reven? Okay? Okay ba? Relax. Okay, mm -hmm. so, anong number? What number do you want? Sir, I'm going to choose number 13, sir. Number 13. Okay, here is your question. If you could teach Filipinos in one thing, what it would be and why? If you could teach Filipinos in one thing, what it would be and why? Okay, you can start now. If I will be given a chance to teach the Filipino people, I would teach them how to become a good listener and also a good follower. Because I believe having these two aspects will become a certain person, a good leader. And that's all we need in our country, a good leader. That's why I will teach them to be a good listener so that respect will be in our society. And also a good follower so that our, our society will unite in all the things that in all the things that we are aiming for because I am not just here to become a king who wears a crown in my head but, but also I am here to become a king that wears a, a crown in my heart. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Raven. Okay. Uh, next is Prince. Okay. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so Prince, anong number ang iyong pipiliin? I would choose number 14 po, sir. Number 14. Okay, here is your question. If you could stop time for a day, how would you spend it? If you could stop time for a day, how would you spend it? You can start now. I'll spend it with my mother. My mother is my motivation. She's my God, my guide. To be honest, to be perfectly honest, my mother is my motivation joining in this competition. And I know for a fact that uh, having time with my mother is a good thing for me to spend time on that stop day of my life. And I wanted to have time with my mother on that very moment because she is a special thing of my life. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Prince. Okay, let's move on to, ano lang kayo, ah? relax lang, 30, 60 seconds ito, okay? Uh, next is, uh, I'll go with uh, Jason. Jason. Hi, sir. Hi, everyone. Ayan. Okay. Ayan, so what number, Jason? I choose number eight. Number eight. Okay, your question is, 
what is the biggest challenge of being a competitor in a pageantry? What is the biggest challenge of being a competitor in pageantry? Okay, you can start now. The biggest challenges that a competitor in pageantry is their self, their self teams, and how do they, they are going to introduce themselves to other people. During this competition has a great impact when it comes in ramping and modeling or just portraying yourself to other people. It's the greatest challenge to their self teams because you had the image, you had the image to adapt and to persuade to other people. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Jason. Okay, let's go to the last candidate. Cesar, please. Cesar. Asana siya. Cesar, hello. Hello, hello. Where are you? Where's Cesar? Asan si Hello, sir. Yan, okay. Okay, so uh which number? Anong number mo? Ang gustong uh uh, number 11. Number 11. Okay, number 11 question. What is your biggest insecurity and how do you address it? What is your biggest insecurity and how do you address it? Okay, you can start now. Uh, my biggest insecurity is my body. As a product of a broken family and a victim of body shaming and bullying, I've experienced a lot of insecurities and negativities of my life. But when I've learned how to believe in myself, when I learn how to trust in my capabilities and abilities as a person, I've learned that I am more than, bigger than my insecurities and negativities of life. I'm, I am here because I want to use this platform to encourage every one of you to always believe in yourself because I believe if you do that, you can be whoever you want to be. You can get whatever you want. And if you believe in yourself, someone will believe in you. And by that, we can make a world a better place to live where negativities and insecurities doesn't grow and foster. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, uh, Manawa. Sakto yung time mo. Okay. So, uh, well, uh, yung video mo hindi naka-on. So, uh, i ayan. Late nang naka-on yung video mo. But anyway, hindi <laughs> naman kasama yan. Na but anyway, so um, thank you so much for uh, attending this Zoom uh, interview for the day. And uh, see you soon sa July 27 for the, you know, um, what do you call this? Uh, for meeting up sa ating lahat. So, more uh, chat and more updates this week. So to all of you, God bless you and mabuhay kayo. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.